You guys like going online? Yeah? Surfing the web? They got it all there, baby. I, I love it. My favorite website? Wikipedia. Love it. I go on there. I'm this close to finishing it. I hopped on there the other day and they, uh, I was reading about shark attacks. I'm not afraid of sharks anymore because of Wikipedia. Sharks only, they only kill 11 people a year. Lettuce killed more people. <laughs> Lettuce killed more people than sharks last year and they don't get their own week on the food network. The fun thing about shark uh, attack statistics is they'll tell you how many were provoked versus not provoked, which is just a fun way of saying they deserved it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of sharks, though. I dare one to walk in here right now. Bring his whole crew. I'll say it to his face. <laughs> not afraid of them. Tell you what I am afraid of, though, is hippos. They kill 4,000 people a year. We treat them like a bunch of neon overeating dickheads. <laughs> I get why they're lashing out. I get why they're upset. Here's the fucked up thing about hippos. They kill 4,000 people a year and they're vegetarians. <laughs> Which means they're just hunting us for sport. <laughs> Have you ever seen a vegan break a horse's neck? No. <laughs> That'd be a very off-brand message. Sometimes I go online and people are nasty to me. You believe that? Little old me, what I ever do. <laughs> they say nasty things to me, I have to block them. I have to go, you don't get access to the good stuff anymore. <laughs> Sometimes they get upset, they lash out, they find new ways to reach me. I had a fellow who recently sent me a calendar invite <laughs> to suck his dick. <laughs> You little rascal, <laughs> bringing that to my doorstep. I knew exactly what I had to do. I hit him with a maybe attendant. <laughs> oh. He's gonna have to look over his shoulder the rest of his life. I like sports, I'm a big sporty boy. You guys like the sports, huh? I love sports, but as I've gotten older, there's a lot about sports that's, that's pretty silly as you get older, like sports jerseys. That's pretty silly as you get older, because when you're a little kid, you're wearing like your, your hero's jersey that's different. When you're older than the players, now you're just wearing some young boy's work shirt. <laughs> You don't know that boy. Why are you wearing his work clothes? <laughs> it's strange. We go into a store, we go, hello, good sir. I'll take that young boy's work shirt. <laughs> what do I have going on tonight? Glad you asked. I'm gonna dress up like this athletic young boy that I admire. <laughs> the one that I watch on the TV. I'm gonna show up at his job. I'm gonna show up at his place of business. <laughs> cosplaying as him. <laughs> what am I gonna do while he works his shift? Well, I'm gonna get hammered. I'm gonna get shit-faced. <laughs> Barely gonna be able to stand by the end of his shift. And then I'm gonna tell all the boys who work in the baseball factory in the other city what disgusting little pigs I think they are. <laughs> so me and my dad have something to talk about. I love sports, though, because it's the only way that I can explain really complex ideas to very stupid people. <laughs> and I'm not saying all sports fans are dumb. I'm saying all dumb people are sports fans. You feel me? <laughs> it's my Rosetta Stone for morons, so it's great. <laughs> and I was recently at a, uh, a sports bar. There was a gentleman, I use the term very loosely, but there was a gentleman <laughs> who didn't understand why catcalling isn't a thing that you should do to another person. And I usually have a rule with verbs. Uh, if it has an animal's name in it, don't do it to a stranger. <laughs> right? Don't catcall a stranger. Don't leapfrog a stranger. Don't hogtie a stranger. 
It's a very good rule. It's never once betrayed me, but this jabroni at the end of the bar, he's got the audacity to question the rule. And he goes, oh, if a woman's dressed like that, she wants attention. Very stupid thing for this fellow to say. And I scan him up and down. I see he's got his, his little football shirt on of his favorite little quarterback boy. And I did what I thought I was supposed to do. I grabbed him by his jersey and I threw him to the ground. And when he got up, he's white hot, he's mad. He goes, what the hell was that for? I go, well, with the way that you were dressed. He didn't appreciate that. I told him he should smile more and he really... He didn't like that. Any, uh, any of you guys sluts? Oh. Whoa. If your pro slut makes some noise, hey. Even the amateur ones can clap along too. Hey, why not? Uh, what's this slut shaming business about? Have you seen this? They're shaming the sluts? You, you keep it up, they're gonna stop. Then you're gonna have a much bigger problem on your hands. A bunch of angry, horny people chasing you through the streets. Knock it off. All the best people in my life are sluts, even if they're not actively slutting. I think, you know, the hoe is where the heart is, right? I don't, I don't think you can be a former slut. I think it's sort of like being a Marine or an alcoholic, you know? You're always one because of the things you saw. You look, at the, you look at the history books, all the best women in history were sluts. You got, you got Cleopatra and, and, and all the other women they wrote about in the history books. <laughs> Some people will say Nancy Reagan now, and listen, I bet that lady sucked a lot of dick. I don't believe she sucked it well. I don't believe she sucked it well for a second. I think if we saw game footage of Nancy Reagan, it'd be like watching Bob Cousy play basketball. <laughs> Where you'd just be like, she couldn't keep up with today's game. <laughs> that joke's called trickle down my chin economics. <laughs> hey now, uh, no. I think one of the worst instances of slut shaming in history, the Salem witch trial. You know that had to be motivated by that. Oh, Goody Williams is making my pants levitate. You got a hard on, bud. Take some fucking accountability. Ridiculous. I, uh, and you know, the worst thing about the Salem witch trials is I bet we lost a lot of baddies. I bet we lost a lot of thickums to the Salem witch trial. They're throwing him in the tank. Oh, she's floating, she's a witch. Buddy, she's got fat titties and a fat ass. That ain't witchcraft, Bubba. That's just buoyancy. Get a physics book, you stupid pilgrim, come on. I was walking around uh, Hollywood the other day and we got, we got horse cops in Los Angeles, cops on top of horses, you seen this? Whose idea was this? I'll get there. I have a feeling you're gonna like this one. Who looked at these two things and was like, we gotta megazord these two fuckers, we gotta put them together, horses and cops, we gotta, who looked at this animal, right? Who looked at this, this short-tempered animal? This short-tempered, easily startled animal and said, I've got a brilliant idea. Why don't we put a bunch of them on horses? 